hi everyone, my name is Windowless, where I talk about all kinds of music, and I rate it, and you watch the videos. Today, I'm reviewing the newest album from fellow YouTuber and content creator, Kyle Alexander Reed, otherwise known as Kyle Reed, otherwise known as Alexander's Radio Experiment. This album literally just came out yesterday, and I've already listened to it enough to form an opinion on it. And I decided, why not do a review? So Alexander's Radio Experiment, otherwise known as A-Rex, which I'll probably be referring to as the, for the rest of the video, since Alexander's Radio Experiment is just like a really tongue twister to say. This is the A-Rex debut album. There's no self-saying vocals, unlike his previous work under his uh, full name, like From the Fifth Floor or Strange Holiday, which are both albums I really, really enjoyed and would definitely recommend checking out because there's definitely some good stuff on those two. This album is a completely left turn, uh, going more for a glitch, plunder phonics, vaporwave micro house kind of style, if you couldn't tell from the name being Corporate House. Very, very reliant on samples. And there's actually a uh, commentary video on Kyle Reed's channel about the uh, uh, inspirations for the album, which I would definitely recommend checking out. It's a great video. And I will be linking his channel and video down in the description because I would definitely recommend going and subscribing to the guy because he's he's great. So most of the album has this very particular sound taken from the likes of Fortet, The Field, the Avalanches, The Books, all these different kind of sample giants. It's pulling from those albums, as well as Death Dynamic Shroud, Chuck Person's Echo Jams, all that kind of stuff. This whole album basically sounds like if you took the intro from Strange Holiday and turned it into a full-length project, which is pretty interesting. I liked most of the lead-up singles to this album, and it was on my radar for a while, and it was an album I was really excited for. The album stands at a large 57 minutes, so it's almost like a full CD worth of music. And on to the album itself, starting off with the intro track, Inspiring Corporate. It works very, very well as an intro track because it kind of mixes all the different sounds you hear in the album into one kind of sampler track at the very beginning to let you know what you're getting into. And it also kind of reminds me of a lot of earlier Fortet work, like some stuff from Rounds or possibly Pause or Dialogue. Kieran's sound is sprinkled all over this project. You can definitely tell that Kyle was listening to a lot of Fortet while making this thing. When the bell stops ringing reminds me more of something from the books, possibly off of the album The Way Out or maybe even The Lemon of Pink. Could even say it sounds like some of Zamuto's solo work or the work with his band. The samples that sound like they're from home movies or just like kind of documentaries or just random videos ripped from the internet. It's really interesting and definitely gives me that kind of vibe that the books brings to all of their albums. I think Running in Japan is a good one, but it has a very long run time. It drags out for a little too long, but it still has a nice progression and is enjoyable as a track. Uh, it's with the whole album kind of flowing together that track fits in nicely but it just kind of drags on for a little too long the game of life was probably my favorite out of the lead up singles it, this one's very exciting and like uplifting this one also reminds me a lot of the avalanches and this one's like the best kind of track to listen to if you don't want to listen to the album in full and just want to like kind of jump in through one song this is the song to go with because it's, it's a great one the title track for this album has lots of similarities to something out here off of an album by the field with the sample chopped notes and chords that kind of like loop and stutter throughout the whole song. And then also adding in some really, really cool chanting vocal samples throughout the entire song as well that I really enjoyed. And it really builds onto the track and gives it its own kind of sound and ideas. And that's one thing I really love about this album is the progression with the songs when they'll kind of build and build and build and just become more of a huge track that's really interesting. I love that. I think Fall From Grace is also really exciting and fun. This one also, again, reminds me of Fortet, as well as the Avalanches, and this one actually mixes in some rap vocals as well, which is really interesting. And I feel like that worked very well in the context of the song when I was first listening to it. When it kind of came up, I was like, ooh, this is, this is really cool. The track That's Enough also brings back the kind of field sound that Kyle was going for, has those chops that you hear in most of the fields work especially off of here we go sublime possibly even cupid's head it also could remind me of something off of christ's album new wounds or possibly even my own work like my album cuts has some similarities to a lot of the moments on this album as well with the kind of chopped up samples i think not very compelling is probably the weakest cut on this album in my opinion personally it drags on for really really long and kind of just keeps doing the same thing throughout the entire track and doesn't really 
build up into something like the rest of the tracks are doing and it just kind of keeps the same thing going and going and I was kind of just like all right are we gonna get anywhere and then when we finally did it was just a little bit of a change and then that was really it compared to the rest of the songs this thing doesn't really bring much to the table compared to other tracks on this album that were really like loud and abrasive and just really cool I also really liked ambient chill background music, it's a great closer. Again, reminding me of Fortet, this time more of his kind of newer material like 16 Oceans, New Energy, or maybe even his newest album 3 which I reviewed recently. As for deltas on this album, things that I would personally change or things that I feel like could have been better, uh, like I said a lot of the tracks really overstay their welcome and they'll kind of linger on for way too long when they could be a lot shorter and a lot more kind of simpler. but. They they just keep going and going and at some point you're kind of like, alright, when are we going to get on to the next song? Another thing I noticed is that a lot of the samples just don't really fit together. Uh, like they'll be in like two different keys and when they're playing over it just kind of sounds really dissonant and awkward. I think the album cover's design also kind of takes away from the experience because I feel like the stock image kind of look that it has with like the really weird like stamp font just doesn't really work that well. I feel like something more like an oval album cover or like an Autechre album cover or any kind of those like minimal techno covers would have been a lot more better to see as this one because it kind of fits that sound a lot more because when I look at this album cover I think of like some kind of rock album and I feel like seeing this cover out in the wild without knowing what this album sounded like or knowing the backstory or who made it I probably wouldn't click on it just due to the cover and yes, I do judge a book by its cover a lot, especially with albums. But the cover isn't really that big of a deal because not everyone can make an album cover perfect. I feel like it's just something that really adds to an album. And when you have a bad cover, uh, it doesn't mean you have a bad album, but it does mean that the experience is taken down a couple notches because the album cover is like a main focal point of an album's experience. And that's about it for all the things I have to say about the album. So for a final score, I'm going to give this thing a 7.5 out of 10. Uh, it was really, really good, but there's definitely some rough edges that could be polished out. But it was still a really fun listening experience, and I'm super duper excited to see what comes next from Alexander's radio experiment. That name's awesome. But yeah, uh, that's about it for this review. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, tell me what I should review next. I might start like some kind of uh, box to like review albums or some kind of like Patreon or something like that. I don't know. If people want to see me review more albums that they request, then just let me know and I'll think of something. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to comment down below what you thought of this album and what would you rate it. And if you are coming here from a Discord server or something, welcome to my channel. I'm starting these new album reviews. If you go to my back catalog on YouTube, you'll see that I was a completely different creator. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's about it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm Windowless, this has been Alexander's Radio Experiment, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.